Why did you take a video camera to school every day? Same reason you bring a gun to work, to shoot people. Trevor, just because the cast is the bad guy doesn't mean you have to play the part. Look at this piece of trash. What are you doing? I need some camera, you geek. Get out of our school. Yeah. Stop. When I'm gone, you all have this to ponder and maybe realize why I did what I did. A little push in front of other kids is a very big deal. Particularly when you know it's gonna happen to you every single day. Every single day. Every single day. You're almost relieved when it actually happens. You're always waiting, waiting for the next attack. The trash can. Reach puberty yet? Lick it, lick it, lick it. Lick it. They don't just hurt kids, they make you hurt yourself. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Hey! I can't take two more years of this. And the more they call me the mad bomber, the more they're scaring themselves. They don't know what I'm capable of. They don't know what I can do. And then there's the sanctuary Sir, of home. How many times do I have to tell you home. to cut the grass? Okay. Do you say okay, but you don't do it? What's going on? Is it too much to ask you to spend half an hour cutting the grass? I said okay. You say okay, but you're still inside the house. You know how many hours a week I work? It takes over an hour to cut the grass. I don't care if it takes five hours to cut the grass. Don't you? Dad, I said I cut the grass. I'll go cut the grass. All right, so the play, yes? Mr. Do-Gooder, why does he even bother? Doesn't he know it's already too late? It's creepy, right? Sometimes I see the way things could have been. I just wish I could be the person she thinks I am. Kids can be the most ruthless people in the world. They can just be supernaturally cruel. <laughs> Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Sometimes you just wanna, you just wanna cry. Sometimes hate is the only real thing in the world. You can stop loving somebody, but hate seems to go on forever. People respect hate. It speaks. It vibrates. Hey man, let me help you out. <laughs> okay. Some people don't even need a gun to hurt you. They use words or laughter. They enjoy watching you bleed to death. You look like a trash can. They get off on watching you fighting back the tears, getting a lump in your throat, blushing, wanting to cry. And they give you a name. Trash can. Pizza face. Loser. Faggot. Loser. Weirdo. Spaz. Retard. You know, the name does something to you. It changes who you are. It alters your, your, your molecule. And one day you wake up. And, and you look in the mirror and you don't recognize you anymore because you believe them. I win, you lose. You want to cry, please leave me alone, but nobody's listening because nobody cares because you don't have a name anymore because they took it away. And then one day, they say that name and you hear something go snap. I trust you! You realize what you got to do. You got to take back your name. And you've got to do it in front of the whole school because that's where they took your name away from you. You've got to do it so every kid will remember. This is about justice. And after a while, you can only think of one way. Jonesboro, Springfield, Paducah, Columbine. Gun, a bomb, instant justice. Ba-bang. But what a rush when they roll out that yellow tape. Miles and miles of yellow tape. They won't have enough when I'm finished. So when these hallways are flooded with rivers of blood, when these hallways are choked 
with their corpses in body bags, you will all say, oh, what a tragedy. What a tragedy. But possibly, after viewing my tapes, you won't be so quick to judge. Maybe that's why I was put on this earth. So I consider this my last will and testament. Okay, let's stop, please. Mr. Duncan, who do you want to call in here? 